In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Ecobee Suite Manager, which is a custom smart app to give you full control over your Ecobee thermostat in SmartThings. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also, if you're interested in building the ultimate smart home, check out the video description for the three steps to get started. In this video, what we're going to do is install the Ecobee Suite Manager in SmartThings so we can have full control over our Ecobee thermostat in SmartThings. All right, so the first thing we need to do to get this installed is we need to head over to the SmartThings Community Installer. I already have a shortcut on my phone, and I'm going to tap on that now. And it's going to go ahead and open up our Community Installer. So go ahead and log in with your account. And then it will just load in the Smart Apps. All right, so it is loaded in our smart apps and you can see um, these are all of these smart apps that you have to choose from. And the one that we want is the Ecobee Suite Manager. Now I already have this installed, but if you tap on the Ecobee Smart Manager, it's going to basically give you all of the documentation, project links, and all of the um, smart apps that it's going to install. So to install this, all you would have to do is go to the very bottom and tap on the install button. And if you don't have the community installer installed yet, I will leave a link in the video description on how to get that set up as well. And as it installs things, it will tell you the status and everything as it goes. I already have it installed, so it's basically just saying already installed for all of this. And once it's complete, it's just going to say install, install process complete at the top, and then you are good to go to get out of this. So I'm going to show you over in the new app how to use this, but it will work in the classic app just fine. So if you go to the three little lines on the left hand side at the top of the screen, you can open up the menu and you can go to smart apps. Now when you first download this, it's not going to show in your Smart Apps section because you need to basically install it. So you can see mine is showing here, but when you go into your Smart Apps, it's probably not going to be here. What you need to do is just go to the top of the screen and hit the plus sign. So all of the Smart Apps that show in the first section are already included in SmartThings. You don't have to download or do anything. You can just go ahead and install those right from here. The second section is anything that you have added into the back end of SmartThings. You can see all of mine here. And we have the Ecobee Suite Manager. Now we also have, if you go down a little bit further, you have all of these other Ecobee items that are installed with the manager. But as you can see, it says install using Ecobee Suite Manager only. So you don't want to mess with any of those. All you want to do is go into the Ecobee Suite Manager. You tap on that. And when you come into here, it's going to look different than mine since I've already had it set up previously. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go through these steps. So the Helper Smart Apps, we're going to show you that a little bit later. What you want to do is go to the bottom here where it says Ecobee API authorization. If you tap on that, on mine it says you are connected, tap done, slash next above. So if you were not authorized, you would just have to come in here and put in your email address and password for your Ecobee account, and then hit log in, and then that's going to log you in to your Ecobee account and link it with the smart app. So I already had that done, so I'm going to go ahead and get cancel there. And 
next bottom and then after you have that completed it should say connected um, tap for ecobee authentication so you know that you're good so everything is set up fine um, another thing you want to do is choose a name at the bottom here and click done and just click done again and then once you do that it's going to take you back out to your smart app section and then you should see the ecobee suite manager out in your smart app section you just have to add it first now when we go into the ecobee suite manager we haven't chosen our thermostats or our sensors yet so you'd want to go ahead and do that so we're going to go into the thermostat section here and you'd want to choose whether your account is commercial or residential we're going to choose residential and then you can select your thermostats and then you're going to want to go to your sensors and you probably want to add all of your sensors as well so just check off the ones that you want click next and then we also have ecobee suite preferences so let's go into there as well um, so you can set up push notifications to everyone you can um, select devices if you want to get notifications on particular devices you can toggle on speak messages you can choose your um, device type choose your hold action so you have all these until I change until next program two hours four hours specified hours or thermostat setting and you have an option here for smart auto so smart auto temperature adjust features determines if you want to allow the thermostat set point to be changed using the arrow buttons in the tile when the thermostat is in auto mode I have that to be on and you can also include your thermostats as a separate sensor so I have that checked off so that's going to add two additional um, sensors one for each thermostat upstairs and downstairs so that's pretty much all we need to change in this area so now the main reason that we installed this is the helper smart apps so let's go into each one of these and see what they can do so we have new contacts and switches helper so if we go into that and at the top if you tap on the little arrow where it says helper description and release notes it'll expand down and you'll be able to see what this actually does this helper automatically turns the HVAC system off when doors and windows are left open for too long and then it will turn them back on you know when they are shut um, that is a really good one so we also have new mode slash routine switches program helper so this polyfunctional helper coordinates Ecobee suite thermostats program with your smart things location mode routines and or real or virtual switches you can change your thermostat based on location mode changes and events of your thermostat schedule and program updates based on location switches etc so this one's really good because ecobee does have you know basically these sensors are sensing presence and it will know if someone is in the room and when you're gone it's supposed to go into basically away mode but if you have pets um, this could not work so what this does is it allows your smart things to change the mode of the ecobee thermostat so regardless if your pets are moving or not it will still be in away mode the whole time everyone is gone and then it will turn into home mode basically when you return so this one is very important because you can't do that with the normal smart things integration quiet time helper so this would like basically minimize the sound of your HVAC system when you're it says watching a movie but I mean I want to be cool when I'm watching a movie so I'm not sure what exactly um, you would use this for um, but it is there if you want to experiment with that new smart circulation helper so the goal of this helper is basically to try to converge the ambient temperature of two or more rooms by dynamically adjusting the minimum fan circulation time 
minutes per hour. So basically it's going to look at whatever sensors you have set up. It's going to try and get those to be the same just by moving air around, not necessarily running your air conditioning system. Smart humidity helper. Apparently the smart humidity helper does not work, but probably be fixed in, in a new update. So it's updated like pretty much like once a week. And let's go to new smart mode programs and set point helper. So this helper will automatically change Ecobee suite thermostat mode program and or program set points based on the outdoor temperature and or dew point and optionally when the indoor temperature falls outside of the set points it can be configured to use many different outdoor weather stations and sources including Ecobee thermostat. So that one sounds pretty cool where it can actually change what you have set up based on the ambient temperatures outside. New smart room helper, let's go to that one. So this helper creates smart rooms that are automatically activated based on motion detection and door states. If a door is left open for a specific time, the smart room will become active. It will remain active as long as the door is open. When the door is closed, smart room will become inactive after a speci specified time out unless motion is detected within the room while the door is closed. I'm not exactly sure exactly what this is doing, but you can definitely mess around with that and see if that's going to help you. So we have new smart switch dimmer and vent helper. This handy utility helper automates changing of real or virtual switches, dimmers, and generic vents based on operating state changes of one or more Ecobee Suite thermostat. For example, it'll turn off or on an attic fan while the HV system is cooling. So we have new smart vents and switches helper. So this helper dynamically adjusts the vent open percentage based on room temperature. So this would basically be if you had smart vents in your home. Um, so if you definitely have smart vents, this would be really handy. Um, I don't have those, so. And we have smart zone helper. This is a multimodal helper that will either synchronize Ecobee suite thermostats operating states across multiple zones. So I guess you could have them work together or have them work in isolated mode. You'd have to have two separate systems though um, for that to work. And we have new thermal comfort helper. So this helper dramatically adjusts the heating and or cooling set points of Ecobee Suite thermostats based on the concept of thermal comfort. So this will take into account the relative humidity and your selected activity and clothing levels. You may want to create different instances for different seasons or activities. The helper's dynamic configuration calculator enables you to see the resultant set point based on your PMV inputs in real time. That sounds pretty cool. Definitely have to check that out. And we have one more here at the bottom which is new working from home helper. So this one will override automated Ecobee schedules for away program when one or more people are working from home. Um, the override can be configured to occur immediately when the program changes to away. So that would be basically if you're working from home, you could set that up. Those are all of the smart apps that you can mess with. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple that I have set up. We go into this one. This is the away mode. Let me go to the way bottom here. So the, at the bottom you can see this is the mode routine switches program helper. So when you go into that one, you'll be able to see this. So first you wanna give it a name and then um, you would want to select the thermostats that you want to change the settings on. If you just tap on that, you just choose your thermostats. And then for the trigger, and it can be a mode change, a routine execution, a switch on or off, or a Ecobee program change. So I'm gonna use my location mode so when it changes to away, right here, 
changes to away. Then it's going to switch the ecob program to away. Basically how it works is when we all leave, it automatically changes the ecob thermostat program to away, regardless if there's motion in the home because of the pets. So the other one I have set up is ecob resume. And basically that's exactly the same thing as the away, but all it does is when our mode changes to home, it's going to resume the ecob program. And the last one I want to show you here is turn off open doors. So this one is the ecob suite contact and switches helper. So you first you got to give it a name, then you need to select your thermostats. Then you'd want to select your contact sensors. So I have all of them selected except for the garage door. And then the action would be here, notify and HVAC actions. And then we're gonna have it turn off HVAC. So the HVAC mode will be set to off. And then here you'd set the delay, select the delay before turning off or sending notifications. So basically if the doors are left open for 15 minutes, then it's going to turn off the HVAC system. And once all the doors are shut for two minutes, it will turn it back on. That's what this is here. Yeah, we have um, toggled this on to send push notifications to everyone. So everyone will get the notification that is connected to our SmartThings hub that the doors are open and that they need to either shut them or know that the AC is going to be turned off. And then you can also speak messages. So we have this toggled on as well. And I chose our Ecobee kitchen and our office upstairs. So there would be a notification about that. And if you go into the custom notification section here, you can change a bunch of these settings. So if you go all the way to the bottom, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give this message. So as you come through this list, you can change like the prefixes, and then you can choose how you want to your contact sensors to be referred as, and you can choose um, how to refer to the HVAC system, and you can just toggle on and off these until you get the message that you want at the bottom. Also, let's take a look at our devices because they're gonna be a little bit different than what you may have already set up. And if you already have the Ecobee integration in your smart apps, you'd probably want to delete the standard integration and use the Ecobee Suite Manager. So Ecobee Kitchen, this is a just a motion sensor. So this is going to detect the presence in the kitchen and it's gonna record the temperature. So that's what a sensor looks like. And then the Ecobee downstairs, this is what the thermostat is going to look like in the new app. I'm gonna tell you the temperature. You can change the temperatures here just by tapping on the pluses and minuses. It's gonna tell you the state of the thermostat, the mode of the thermostat, the fan mode. If you tap on the temperature at the top, in that little graph, it's gonna kind of show you all of the history. We can look at days or hours, or minutes. And if you tap on the history at the bottom right corner, it's going to give you options to look at the history and you can actually filter this. So if you only wanted to look at the humidity or the fan mode or the set point or the temperature or the motion, you can filter these down. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Obviously, if you have an Ecobee thermostat, this is definitely the best SmartThings integration that there is. It's gonna give you so many more options with all of those Smart App Helper apps in the Ecobee Suite Manager. So definitely go ahead and check out all of these and let me know which one is your favorite. If you want me to go into more detail on one of these, I'll do a separate video on that just leave a comment i hope you found that video helpful if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and i will see you in the next video